Skating's the hardest thing on the planet. I don't care what anyone said, it is hard. I mean, I learned a lot of smaller tricks, but fully obsessed, obsessed was a 540. I remember trying it at Param one day and I was starting to spin them and I just I was showing off. And then all of a sudden, my legs just went bang oh! into the coping, smack into the ramp backwards, and then slid down. I was all like, you know, full shell shock. So I was a bit scared for a while to try them after that. It was the last day of one of the school holidays and um, Tamis Jones was there, Renton was there, and Tamis said to me, I was trying them all day, you know, I was right at the end, last day of holidays, and Tamis has gone to me, he goes, you just need to give it up, you've just trained yourself to bail, you're never gonna do it today. I'm like, bullshit, you wanna see it? And then the next one, I dropped in backside air, just went whew, and then just bang, all of a sudden, I'm rolling up the other wall, and it was my first 540. So I was just like, Aah! It was just insane, best feeling ever. Skaters know, like when they really want something, it just frustrates the hell out of you until you get it. You just have to just believe you can do it. It's got to be headstrong. You've got to balance it. After Ben got busted, I was thinking, right, it's time to knuckle down, try to kick the doors open again for me and Ben, like I did when I first came to the States. And if I nailed the nine, that could lead me to money, which could help get my brother back. The 900 was something that's never been done before, and it was very scary. The 540 is one and a half spins. But the 900, you go up, you do a 540, and another 360. Bang. He was so close, landing on him, almost making it. And we had a couple people from Transworld Magazine come and shoot sequences of us. Yeah. He's gonna do it, Grant. You want better, Hunter? Oh! You gotta get him the pre run. You got what? Get him over there when he's hyping up. Yeah. Yeah. He almost made it. He was like way high, way high in the air and just like almost making him. It was pretty. He was like a legit 900. It comes to a point, once you've tried it that many times, you can't visualize it anymore. It's, it's just all feeling. Just with trying to do the 900, he really wanted to do that. He just was trying to make up for lost time with that trick. It was the first serious trick I'd learnt since prison and I hadn't really done anything for over 10 years almost. So I had to really relearn how to skate in a sense to get to that level. I'd say like 20 tapes of just bales of, of tusks, trying the 900. It probably took, yeah, it took three years to get that. The 900, it's been a bloody nightmare. But it's become a dream come true. <laughs> But the nine honestly reminded me of my first 540. It felt like my first 540. It was amazing, man. Same feeling all over again. I'm just happy, man, that I got to do some more moves after everything that's happened. I thought it was over completely. To be given another chance to actually skate and get that feeling back, I mean, that's the true drug in life.